welcome back to the channel. Uh, now, a little bit different today, no reviews, no measurements or anything like that. Well, not, not measurements particularly of watches as such, but uh, measurements of um, uh, clasps. Uh, I was asked if I could do a video and just kind of going through how you change a pressed clasp to a milled clasp. Um, so here we go. This is how I do it. Um, whether it's how you do it or how you've other, seen others do it, I don't know. But first thing you're going to need to know is the width of your bracelet. Uh, now, as you can see, this is the Seiko 5KX 22mm here, and it does taper down to 20 millimeters at the clasp. Um, so you'll need to get yourself a 20 millimeter milled clasp and here is one that i have got from good old aliexpress um, now there's various kind of uh, grades of these that you can get if you like um, this is one of the cheaper ones i think it was around about three pounds with postage uh, i have actually got uh, some slightly better ones um, which is one here as you can see there's more micro adjusts and it is also a bit longer uh, but that's an 18 mil and we need a 20 for this um, now what the other thing you're going to need to uh, kind of keep in mind is uh, what I'm going to do is just going to move these out of the way for a minute uh, because the uh, other side of this uh, I'm also going to uh, show how I fit one of those paratrooper straps but anyway back to this one so we know that this is 20 millimeters here and this clasp is clearly quite a bit longer than this one. Uh, so this point here, right there, that is the spring bar that we are going to remove to take one end of that clasp off. So the best way to have a look at that is lay that on top and put that hole there roughly in line with that one and you can see that we are indeed going to be short so it's going to be tight when you put it on um, so uh, if you've got any spare links ta -da, you need to put that back in um, but anyway now I don't know how well this is going to go because doing it on camera and all that <laughs> this this is uh, yeah it's not easy doing this through a viewfinder but here we go uh, right so the first thing you need to do is this one here you just need to uh, give that a little bit of a, a push and persuade that out of there and there is the spring bar and you need to keep that because we're going to use that one again and then you go to uh, the other end where the micro adjust is and then you pop that one out as well. Uh, yep, yeah, that is the right end. I just wondered if I'd turn that in my hand, but no, I hadn't. So we'll pop that one out of there, and then pop that out, and there you can see there is your original clasp, which is now off. Now, if you are going to need to add a link, uh, I'm not going to do it on this one because I'm not going to keep this clasp on. I'm going to order another one which is a bit longer. Then, obviously, we would be popping this back in in the same manner that you always have done when adjusting your bracelets with one of these. So, what we will do is we will go straight into fitting of the new clasp. So, you pop that open. And as you can see, we have three micro adjusts on that. So it is uh, quite a bit shorter than the other one. So like I said, it would need to have a link added in. So bear that in mind if you're ordering any of these on AliExpress. Um, make sure that you get one that is uh, kind of going to be long enough. Uh, so yes, drop your spring bar in. And I'm trying really, really hard not to jog this little tripod that I'm sat on here and then pop that spring bar down and there we go and then wiggle that in two position are we in really difficult to see there we go that one is in and then at the other end you bring your other your other side in 
and then you slide your spring bar through the end of your bracelet and then that is going to sit in those holes there so you pop your first one pop your first one in and then bring that across to there yes this is where doing it through a viewfinder is quite tricky <laughs> let's try and move this across a little bit and then there we go push your spring bar down and in she goes and let's just check that one that is now also in and there we go there we have your new milled clasp now as I said this is going to be too tight for me but I'm not keeping that one on there I've got another one of these on order which is a bit longer and a bit more in keeping um, another thing that uh, you should bear in mind is uh, not all bracelets are the same uh, here's one on a Tissot which is just a friction fit and it's got uh, yes Tissot do that as well the uh, mm, press clasps uh, so at this end at the micro adjust end uh, you've got a normal end so that's absolutely fine but when you get to the other end you've got this arrangement here so you've got you've got a male end link so what you would need to do if you were going to change the clasp out on this one is you would need to get yourself from the manufacturer this end here so you'd need a one of, another one of those to pop into there so that uh, or it would actually go on where in place of this one uh, because otherwise you know it's not going to fit so yes they don't all go straight on um, but uh, for the most part with a Seiko then uh, you know that's uh, absolutely fine you can do it with those if you've got a um, prospects there is you are going to lose your divers extension uh, because the divers extension uh, you've got your normal micro adjust at that end your divers extension is at this end and if, if you flip that down and then pop that out there we go so the uh, that is the bit that needs to come out that spring bar there so uh, you're going to lose that bit and all this as well so your, your divers extension will stay on the original clasp so that's if you do it on a prospects I mean not that many people use the divers extension on these I mean most of these are desk divers uh, but just really kind of information just so you know so anyway that is how I change a normal pressed clasp out for a milled clasp um, so as you can see uh, but like I said I've got another one coming for this which is a bit better so yeah but anyway yeah that's that bit um so a, just a brief moment and uh, i will show you how i do one of these because uh, uh i think it was uh, actually probably my son who said he wanted to put one of these on a watch and he was struggling with it so here we go here be a video on how to do that back in a minute right so here is the watch that we are going to uh, put this band onto and this is one of those elasticated paratrooper bands um i'm kind of marina nationale style um so yeah we're just gonna slide this one off and this is just a a single pass so we'll pop that off of there uh, and then what you need to do this is like i said this is how i do it you may some of you may have uh, your own way uh, and then we need to just pop that spring bar out put that one down there so we don't lose it and then pop the other one out there we go and then this bit what you need to do is with that piece so the hook is facing downwards and then you put your watch on there like that with the 12 o'clock pointing at the hook and then you need to flip it over there we go and then if you push that one in there like so and then you get your spring bar 
and some of these can be a little on the tight side because these elasticated straps can be uh, can be quite quite thick um, but uh, you know generally they will fit reasonably well and then you pop your spring bar down and make sure that we are in of a hole and then if you uh, you can slide that now so you can bring that a bit further down and then you do the same thing and this part of the strap just roll it over out of your way and then you should be able to pop in your second spring bar and if you if you need to just put, give a little bit of tension on that elastic because that'll pull it nice and flat and then lay your spring bar in and then again these spring bars are actually quite tight I guess they would be being Swiss and then there we go there that is now in so then that is now on there and uh, then we get rid of the uh, get rid of the fingerprints so there we have it um, now this is how I prefer to do it I know that some people do it so that uh, when they put them on they uh, um, you know they, they put them on they they keep the double thickness on there but I personally prefer to slide my arm through there uh, which I can show you it's just pop this off uh, which is the Hamilton khaki king um, so yeah so what I do how this is how I wear them so you put your hand through the hole and then this bit you'll pull around and then that will hook into there like that and that's it and you can adjust this bit you can slide it in you can tighten it up you know by bringing it that way you can slacken it off by going that way uh, yeah so uh, that's how I fit those um, so anyway, I hope you found this uh, this video useful. Just a kind of a, I, I, I'm not going to call it a tutorial. Um, I'm just kind of showing you how I um, fit these things. Uh, like I said, you know, if you've got uh, any other ways that you do it, you know, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm always eager to learn, and I, I love hearing how other people get around things and how other people kind of you know adjust bracelets and stuff like that. If you've got any tips and tricks let me know in the comments but that's it for now thank you very much for watching and uh, i will catch you all in the next video cheers for now